Good morning. I would like to welcome viewers to our time of worship for the parish of Avon Valley on this, the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, the 8th of September, 2024. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and healed every infirmity among the people. And let us pray. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that richly bearing the fruit of good works, we may by you be richly rewarded. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's Gospel lesson is taken from the seventh chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark, beginning at the 24th verse. Jesus set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know that he was there. Yet he could not escape notice. But a woman, whose little daughter had an unclean spirit, immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Seraphonician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that you may go, the demon has left your daughter. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears and spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Here ends the reading of this morning's Gospel. God gave us hearts to love and ears to hear and mouths to speak. In today's Gospel, Christ encounters a Gentile, a Seraphonician woman, who is aware of his reputation as a healer and a miracle worker. She has confidence he can bring relief to her afflicted daughter. This woman equally understands that this holy man, Jesus, has come for the house and people of Israel. She hears what he says. She is not looking to take offense, to find fault, but to ask for his healing grace despite the social barrier between them. The woman responds with humility and cleverness, noting that even dogs eat the crumbs from the children's table. Jesus is moved by her faith and grants her request. Her daughter is healed. This woman teaches us about the power of faith and persistence. She recognizes Christ's divine authority and trusts in his mercy, knowing that his love and healing transcend our cultural differences and earthly divisions. Her faith reveals that God's love is bigger than the separation that exists between us and him. Her example challenges us to approach God with a similar confidence, knowing that his grace is abundant and available to all who earnestly seek it. 
Jesus goes on to heal a man unable to hear or speak. He says to him, Ephatha, which means be opened. The man is cured physically and also in heart and spirit. The healing of the deaf mute man underscores our need to be opened, to hear the word of God and to speak his truth. When we are truly open to him, our ability to listen is restored, and we are able to tell of his wonders with clarity and courage. We are to be ever mindful that God gave us hearts to love, ears to hear, and mouths to speak. He wants us to bridge the gap between him and us. May we, like the Seraphonician woman, approach Christ with unwavering faith, trusting in his boundless grace. And may we, like the healed man, have our ears unplugged and our tongues untied. Amen. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows, and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And gathering all our prayers together, let us pray as Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. Amen.